Right then, hello and welcome back to Swedish Touring Car Championship 2. After a very successful heat number one yesterday, we are now leading the point standings by a mere three points, but we've got to do it all again today with heat number two. So without further ado, let's just get it underway. We are prepared for today's heat two, so let's see what happens. Indeed, hopefully it's going to be a repeat performance as it was yesterday. I'm going to try and be a bit more careful so I don't, you know, clout into anybody and get a drive through penalty, but we'll see. Anyway, we are underway. Clean start, please. Let's take the outside lane. Oh, someone's gone way off. Oh, there's a the Stratus again. I did notice on the replay yesterday that he did uh, go into the pits. And uh, serve a drive-through penalty after giving me a clout at the rear. Oh my god, that's okay, smallest of touches. To that was the smallest of bloody touches, for goodness sake. Oh, well, I'm going to have a drive-through penalty then. Hooray! Oh well. In the pits we go again. Wonder if anyone else is coming in as well. Probably not. That doesn't look like it. Well, we're down in 18th place. We've got to do all that work again today as we did yesterday. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. All over the shop. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I think the uh, the drive-through penalty system is a little bit on the, I don't know, sensitive side. You just literally tap another car and you've, you're given a drive-through. Also, my tires, I don't think they've changed them again because they're all over the place. Very, very oversteery, as you can see. I think everyone's struggling on their tires. I don't think they changed tires in between heats. Oh, my teammate's got damage. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I don't think they changed tires between heats, so that's why the, the handling is very washy. Oh, you swine. Nope. Uh, I don't think that's done any damage. Alright, lap four. We're not doing great, only in 15th.
Yeah, the car is uh, not behaving very well at all. Very twitchy on the rear. Oh, I've already caught up to Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. We're 40 seconds behind the leader. I think we can catch that up. Get out of the way, teammate, please. Yeah, compared to yesterday, the cars are very twitchy always for Heat 2. So, uh, yeah, my guess is that they don't change tires in between heats, so it makes the cars a lot harder to control. Uh, we're still 40 seconds behind the leader, so we haven't dropped too far back. We're just going to have to make it up, get out of the traffic. Okay, time to check to see how far behind we are. Uh, we made up two seconds. Not great. Not again. Okay, come in for stop and go. Shut up. Oh, that is such a pain in the ass. Uh, so we're not gonna win race number two. It is so strict, you just make the smallest of contact and they give you a stop and go. So annoying. Come on. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, well, we only dropped two positions. Audio is popping a hell of a lot going over the curbs, I've noticed. Right, you're an independent, get out of the way. Actually, haven't lost that much time to the leader, 45 seconds. So, it could still be possible if he gets into, you know, the, the back marker traffic, that'll slow them down. So, he might have a chance to catch up, maybe get into the top five. 
Uh, a win, I don't think, is going to be possible. Okay, six laps to go. She can get. Okay, five laps to go. Uh, made up a bit of time, thirty six seconds ahead. I think it's going to be enough, though. Thirty-one seconds, not enough. We only got four laps. So I'm just going to try and get into the top five if we can. I don't think we're going to do any better than that. Stupid car, come on. Uh, twenty eight seconds. Absolute shit.
Okay, so maybe not a top five then, but we're going to get a top ten. Oh, that's such a shame. If we hadn't been right, punted out... Uh, I can't really do that, mate, because uh, the car has no rubber left. The car is just not handling. But yeah, had we not been punted out by Matthias, I think we would have probably got sixth place, maybe. Might be able to get 8th place. Nope. You're slowing down way too much, Sunshine. Nope. Ninth place. That is atrocious. Of course, it doesn't help when the car doesn't handle properly, but there you go. And now, when the race is over, we can see that BMW's Anders Svensson wins his first triumph for the season. Not such bad driving from Audi's newcomer, who at least makes it through the race. After today's superb racing, it's time to check out the scoreboard. The new driver has again, despite the tough competition, been able to stick to the pole position in the chart. Yeah, that is a bit of a shock. So we're now tied on points with Jan Nilsson with 32. Only one behind is Tommy Rustad. And then you've got uh, Thomas Nystrom and Matthias Ekstrom uh, with 25 and 24 points. So it is incredibly tight at the top at the moment, but, you know, still a lot of races to go. Uh, I think this is going to be a bit of a pattern for the rest of the season where um, race one is going to be absolutely fine. And then because of the tires, um, I'm going to be struggling in race two most of the season. But uh, anyway, still a long way to go. I think uh, we're still going to be staying in uh, Ring Knutstort for the SSR support series, which is coming up next. So uh, yeah, for now, I'm going to leave it here. So thank you very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you all next time for the SSR support series. So take care, stay safe, and bye for now.